So uh, I decided I'm going to gut this transmission here and try and figure out uh, what's going on with uh, the passenger side axle there. Since uh, it appears that thing you can see there, that race or whatever it is, uh, is what's loose. So I'm going to tear it down and find out what the issue is with it. So just uh, removing the three bolts that hold the mounting bracket on the driver's side of the tranny there. So, bracket will come right off. So I got the uh, front case off there fairly easily, covered. Uh, you can see the, the drive chain down in there. I kind of thought maybe I had to undo some bolts on the pan on the bottom, but uh, didn't need to. She's a separate unit. Some of the there's uh, three or four pins, alignment dowels. A little bit of a fight with them. Had to do some pounding, but. So here's the, uh, and this is going to be fun, I'm going to film this with the, holding the light. Let's see what I can do here. So this is the shifter here. That's what you move when you change gears. Not much to that. And the valve body there. So the automatic shifting. So these are kind of a strange transmission. The power comes from the torque converter on the far side there. You know, a chain sprocket and then it goes along a chain and then goes to a place where all the different gears are there in the tunnel shaped thing. So kind of a unique design in the automotive industry. It's gonna get some close up video of the wiring here. How all the solenoids are wired, which one goes where. These ones are kind of obvious, but it's not so obvious when you come over here. So on the top one there, I'm seeing green and red, and then the second one down is red and yellow. And then that's the bottom is looking like some kind of purple and green there. So at least I'd stand a chance of putting them back in the right place. Odds are this transmission is never going to see the light of day again after I take it apart anyways because usually you require some kind of special tools to deal with something on it. And I might be getting done with a hammer and a chisel, but we'll see. You never know. And that's a problem with automatic trannies. It's uh, easy to get in over your head in a hurry. So I'm just trying to document where... You know, Right there, it's got these little uh, little balls in it there, and when I take this plate off, they're all going to go bye-bye. So there's one right here, that hole. There was one up here in this hole. It already rolled out. See, we got one down here, another one here, 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 here. I'm thinking there too. Maybe not. No, that's a bolt hole. So it looks to me like there was one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four at the bottom. Five, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, you'll book to put this thing back together. Anyway, you can see my, uh, got the valve body over there. And then the, uh, and I'm just going to document. You can see how the bolts are sticking up there. Some really long one there on the right side. And, uh, some long ones and short ones. And, and uh, the same thing with the, uh, the front pump here. I uh, managed to leave the bolts in it. 
So you see there's a long one on the very one side of it there. All the rest of them seem to be about the same length. So so once you take the bolts out, varying lengths, not a good thing to try to put them back in. I don't really have anywhere to light this thing down, so it's uh, not the best for tearing something this complicated apart. But we'll do what we can do here, just mainly trying to document all the pieces to it and stuff. Try to stand a hope of getting it back together.